There are questions over why a company with ties to tax havens has been awarded more than $120 million in contracts to the Australian Tax Office and Centrelink. The parent company to Stella Asia Pacific has left a string of unpaid creditors in the UK, but the ATO here says it's passed all the right checks. This exclusive report from Stephen Long. On Queensland's Sunshine Coast, this tax office call centre is a big employer. It's run by Stella Asia Pacific, a company with a money trail that extends across the globe. They have incredibly complex corporate structures and lots of related party deals that look like they could be used to shuffle money offshore. Stellar Asia Pacific's parent company is registered in Nevada, a state known as a US tax haven. It had an arm in the UK, which went broke in May. Bankruptcy filings reveal it was controlled when it went under by a company in the British Virgin Islands, a notorious tax haven. The documents also show that more than $100,000 in management fees were transferred there before Stella went under in the UK. Other creditors, including the British Tax Office, lost out. At least 30 workers were left without their entitlements, with their redundancy payments. The tax office was left without payments uh, for the VAT, the sales tax, or without payments for the payroll tax. Now, a company that's done that once before you'd have to think as a chance of doing that same thing again. In a statement to the ABC, Stella maintained that Stella Global had divested Stella Europe LLC in an arm's length sales transaction with a third party five months before it went bankrupt. Just six weeks ago, Centrelink awarded Stella a $78 million contract. That's on top of a $51 million contract it landed with the Australian Taxation Office last year. Tax office staff are held to the highest standards of integrity in their own, in their own, uh, in their own personal tax. And that's the standard that should be applied to businesses that are doing tax office work. It's deeply disturbing that a company with this track record would have contracts with the ATO. Concentric's expertise is building award-winning entrepreneurial teams. Stella's not the only company in question. In 2014, Concentrix was hired to cross-check welfare claims in the UK, but wrongfully cut off thousands of people from payments. A British parliamentary inquiry found gross failings of customer service, but in the midst of the scandal, the company was awarded a lucrative ATO contract. This is the company that's just been awarded contracts with Centrelink. We asked the ATO if it knew about the tax haven ties, the bankruptcy filings. It wouldn't say, but it did say it conducted rigorous probity checks before awarding large contracts. 